welcome to the history hunter and our small adventures with the world war ii time frame today it's me and my son out and uh, we're just gonna go to a little location we spotted we're traveling through an area and that thing there is pretty interesting see if i can get you up there it's kind of like a one-time stop just to see what this is and uh, after that we're traveling to uh, another area but we're going to check out what this is and uh, share that moment with you. This is a panzer dome. There's not too many of them left actually. Inside here they would have like machine guns pointing out in any direction and this could swivel around. It's very heavy duty uh, uh, metal and it's just amazing to see it still there. Oh, you're going to climb but I see. <laughs> you can see Looks like an opening that was there. Something going on there. This looks like it's been shot. So on the top here you can see uh, probably the pivot point where it can swivel around. And the rest is camouflaged underneath here. So we're going to check out the inside of it and uh, see if we can share some images from that thing. Under here there is definitely a feature, a bunker or some, of some sort. And uh, wait, look at that. What is that? Can you see that? Oh, there's a hole. Look at that. There's a hole there. What is happening down there? Can you pull that away? Look at that. Is that an entrance? What is it? There's a huge hole there. All right. Is that concrete? There's a rock. All right. Let's go further around here. See if we can find an entrance or something. There will always be an entrance to uh, exciting. Wow, look at that. Just saw something here. Ah, oh, a Tobruk integrated into the bunker. And wow, that is actually, are you kidding? Do I see what I see? Look at that, look at that. An oven, a bunker oven. Let me take you down there. Can you, yeah, there's an opening. Look at that, a bunker oven is just laying there. That is insane. Yeah, this is a machine gun position where they would put ammo inside and down there is the storage. Wow, that could be a communication equipment being put there. Very interesting. All right, these here, they were used to put up camouflage canvas. These hooks everywhere, there, there and there. They were used to stretch the camouflage canvas over this area so that the uh, allied bombing crews couldn't see the bunker itself. Wow, look at that. That's the entrance for for the uh, that's the entrance for the uh, machine gun position. That's the entrance to the bunker itself. And uh, there's a guard position. Let's go down there and uh, have a close look. You can see the uh, um, ventilation shaft there. Very nice. You know, I've talked to you so many times about bunker ovens and the importance of uh, the cold pieces you find. So this is one of the actual bunker ovens. There's the actual number of it. And it's too bad it's just laying there. That shouldn't be out there at all. That should be in a museum. And I think I'm gonna see if I can make that happen. I'm gonna notify the right people. Look at that. There is the uh, mechanism for uh, ventilating the fumes out of it. Look at the characteristic cast iron details there. That's the base plate. And that's the lower hatch. Too bad, I can't see the other hatch. Look at that. That is just sad. When it lays down there and rot away. Just sad. All right, and that's an amazing find by itself. These are the massive ventilation shafts coming out of the bunker. And uh, let me see if I can do this. This is the entrance up to the uh, machine gun top brook, as I told you. There's the ring. And uh, 
Pretty neat, pretty neat. So why don't we take a look inside? Look at that. AEG, that connector is in very, very good condition. Look at that. You can actually open it and show it. That looks very, very nice. So we're here just to look, we're not to take. We're just passing by and looking at the position. There is the shutter. That is where the gunner could stay and open and shut the door if they saw an intruder or an enemy. Um, just a corner here. Cable ditch. That's the original cabling. This is where the blaster would have been. See if the focus could come. Yeah. This is this is where the blaster would be. And you can see the huge hinges here. The gasket would seal it through there. Wow, this is amazing. Looks very nice. Maybe been repainted after the war, I don't know. There's a door here as well. So on to the right here, I guess you would find a guard's position. Look at that. You have the typical one-way air valve. Yeah, there's the hatch that the no it's not moving this is where the gunner could stay inside and have full control of who would enter the uh, the premises Let's see if i can do this see behind there one of the fittings for the ear um, look here look here here it says carbon German original writing there. Oh, I like that. So that it says maybe a cable came through there. And you can see one. This is one of the original doors. The handle. See, there's a hatch down there as well. Why is it down there low? It should be up here. Did they change the position of the door? That was supposed to be the higher piece. I don't know. So very very dry in here you see the rust on the door is not excessive or a lot but just a little bit yeah look at that the original oh my god look at what is up there that is one of the original there's a second one look at that that's the original ventilation filters You've probably seen I found some of that before and that's the original wooden interior and another one wow I never look at that kind licht by offner Schatter. no lights when you open the uh, that is so cool can you see that son the German writing and this is the uh, thing it's about no lights on when you open and close that door. That is insane. Ventilation pieces, flanges coming out of the wall. But the very special thing is that the wood here is absolutely original and that is so rare to find. A lot of people think that the Germans had this with the uh, you know the bare concrete walls but they didn't they filled in with the uh, wooden materials and that also isolated a little bit between the concrete and the wood that is one heck of an image that straight ahead is the emergency exit and this is the place where the crew could get out in a hurry it will be filled in but they could easily dig out it would be like sand filled on the top and they could dig up and go upwards and escape in that way very clever very clever as i said earlier these are very rare to come by vw12b it's just the same as i have the one that i have haven't got the instructions uh, on the front there that one hasn't got that either w uh, the piece with the uh, waffen eagle and things like that that is on the front 
same here. The uh, look at that. I can actually turn. See that? See? Works even today. Incredible. Let's go further in here, see if we can find some more details. I was hoping that we could find the tur Oh, this is the cannon turret area. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Let's go down here. Wow, can you see that? Up there is where they actually could turn that turret. Wow, the whole thing turns. On that fixture up there that is probably the fixture points in the center there that's where they rotated the thing wow shall we go up there yeah we have to we have to go up and see what's up there wow that is probably one of the few chances you have to see the installment of such a dome look at that it's the fixture for just a lot of things. And in the top there, look at that. I'm not sure what was up there, maybe a periscope or something. Oh, yeah. and see if I can get you up there. Just bear with me. See that wing there? That's the degrees. So they could turn around this dome quickly. And that is still there. Very, very cool. Oh, my son just saw a very cool detail. See if I can get you in there. Let's do this. Can you see it? 1943. So that's the production date. So this was made after 1943 then. That is very cool. On that piece there, also date 1943. So it looks like all of the equipment here was made in 1943. That is one of the uh, openings. Very heavy duty hinge thing. So that's what it is. That's kind of like a, I'm not sure whether they opened that, swing it aside and put guns out or what they did. That is pretty impressive. Look at the thickness of the steel there. This is very rare, people. It's not too often you can actually see this at all. One of my friends that I really, really don't like is hanging quietly right there. And I have to say, I will not put my hand up there to make a scale, but that is one of the biggest, nastiest spiders I've ever seen in a location like that. That is easily five centimeters across if it spread its legs at least five, six centimeter. Holy banana. Ugh. My son, what did you say? What is that? That's an electrical uh, connector of some sort. The cables running through the inside of that little plate there. And you can see it comes up there. It's a lot of wiring and a lot of electricity all over the place so there was probably a lot of gear here that is not here anymore and my son is now holding the light for me just wanted you to see this very close up never seen anything like it very very nice so from above this is like a platform you can see here you can swivel around have to take care not to fall through that hole. There's the hatch that we came up. Kind of a, that looks like a seat actually. Maybe there was a seat for the operators. If they had a break inside here, they could actually sit down on that wooden seat. So you see, it's just like a round, round table that can uh, turn. And the gear, is all around 360 degrees. Very cool. So, heading on back, another blast door. You can see the hatch on the bottom. I don't get it, why is it on the bottom there? It should be up there. 
Maybe they placed it the wrong way around. Much more smart if it was up there. Nevertheless, um, this was quite interesting to be honest. And I have to say, seeing the writing there and uh, seeing the uh, ventilation units there, that is just incredible. Just outside the bunker here, you can see where the running trench system starts. This one goes up to the bunker. Coming down here, the running trench and the uh, small walls they made here to, you know, take care of the enemy if it came out from there, that's the ocean. So you can see the running trench system goes all the way here. All around this small hill, it's totally overgrown now, you can't see anything. But this is kind of where it started and brings you all around and uh, very nice to see that they're still here well thanks for joining us on this little bunker hunt extraordinary little thing there and so happy we passed it and actually saw it and i'm very happy that we could share with all of you out there so that's what we do so thanks for all the kind support that, that you give us out there especially the paypal and patrons you really make this come true by your kind uh, donations and that makes us able to do stuff like this so thanks for watching subscribing keep watching our videos check out the ads and help us out by commenting and subscribing see you later have a nice day and goodbye, goodbye.